Police are looking for a man who is wanted for neglecting his adopted son. And according to court documents, that's just the beginning of this horrific story. News Channel 15's Randy Spieth has more tonight from Studio 15. Officials got involved after the boy told his teachers he was tortured at home. And while police look for the child's adoptive father, court documents say the boy's adoptive mother is responsible for abusing him. According to the owner of this home, officers with the Allen County Sheriff's Department showed up at his house last night looking for 46-year-old Lee Rager. Rager is wanted for neglect of a dependent, but he no longer lives here. These documents say Rager left his adopted son with his adoptive mother, Diana Haley, who beat him. Since the 2011-2012 school year, some of the boy's teachers have come to their students' rescue by reporting the abuse to the Department of Child Services. The first incident was reported by a teacher at Hickory Center Elementary School. The second, while the boy attended the Timothy L. Johnson Academy. The documents say multiple teachers said the boy told them he was tied up and beaten with the belt. He also said he was tied up like Jesus on the cross. A caseworker with DCS went to the child's home to investigate. The worker said the boy's room contained only a mattress, pillow and sheet, and that it smelled overwhelmingly of urine and feces. And the boy's story gets worse. Last year, he was taken to the hospital at least twice for cuts and burns. That includes last August when Haley says a brick fell on the child's hand. She put an ice pack on it, but hours later, she noticed the boy's hands had some blistering. Doctors say the burns were second or third degree. The boy ended up going to St. Joseph Hospital where doctors determined the injuries were frostbite, chemical burns, or thermal burns. The injuries ultimately resulted in the loss of part of a finger and permanent discoloration and disfigurement to multiple fingers. And a doctor says Haley's story is not credible. Now we don't know where this family is right now or if the boy is in DCS's custody. Records say when teachers at Timothy L. Johnson Academy reported abuse to DCS, the boy was removed from school and officials say that's the last known school the child attended. As for the boy's adoptive mother, Diana Haley, no charges have been filed at this time and Lee Rager is still on the loose. Reporting from Studio 15, Randy Spieth, News Channel 15.